And then he looked at himself and he said, I had a huge black wolf in myself. And I said, Jesus, help me, help me take this away from me. Iran is the fastest growing Christian church in the world. And um, obviously they don't have any seminaries or any um, people who are seminary trained from other countries coming in and, and establishing churches. Ali is kind of the, the leader over 500 people who have started churches and those 500 people have over 2,000 churches underneath them. So um, he is a generational Muslim. He um, grew up being taught the Quran. That's part of what they do. They are made to go to Quran school. They memorize the Quran. They know the Quran. And his family was a well-to-do family. And um, as he was learning the Quran, he realized that it contradicted itself. And so he asked the Imam questions and the Imam says, you don't get to ask questions. You never question the Quran, you just do what it says. And, and that kind of put him off. And so he's a pretty intelligent kid. And um, so he, he just started kind of rebelling. He was just spiritually empty and, and he was depressed. And so he said, God, if you're good, show me. He said he had a vision. He said his city where he lived is surrounded by mountains. And Jesus came across the mountain and the, the whole city was dark except for the light that was Jesus. And Jesus took him and he said, Jesus shined his light on all the people and he could see that all the people had a black wolf inside them. And that that black wolf is what made them do all the evil and bad things they did. Whatever that black wolf told them to do is what they did, and that's why they did all the evil and all the horrible things that they were doing. And he was just appalled. And then he looked at himself, and he said, I had a huge black wolf in myself. And I said, Jesus, help me. Help me take this away from me. He said, and Jesus took it away. He said, so I left. Iraq and I went to Kurdistan. He said, and I met um, the person uh, with Reach the Rest and, and he taught me the Bible and he taught me uh, how to, to tell others the gospel. He said, I, I understood what I had done. I understood who Jesus was. He became a believer and he, and he started going back into the country and started telling his friends and telling other people about Jesus. That's his story. And now he has all these churches.